welcome to a new episode from the city Bergamo in the Italian region Lombardy. Bergamo is about 40 kilometers northeast of Milan at the foot of the Alps and the name Bergamo is coming from the German word Bergheim, so hill town, because it's said that the Celtic population settled down on a hill and founded the city. That's why still today the city is composed of two parts. There is the Città Alta, so the upper town. It's the old city center of Bergamo, UNESCO protected and enclosed by a powerful city wall. And then there is the lower town, the Città Bassa. It's the industrial, financial and administrative center of national importance. That's where I am at the moment. And for going to the Città Alta, we, we will now take the funicolare, because the old city center is lying on a mighty hill. You can see it behind me, here. That's the entrance and on the right side of it there is the ticket office. Ah, it looks comfortable with all the people. So in winter you don't have to worry that you get too cold. The train drive took me around five minutes for going from the lower town to the upper town funicular station that's where i am now and every eight minutes during the day there is a train driving there are two rails and two trains and now i had to pay for going one way up and one way back two euros 60 cents um, there would also be a bus stop in front of the uh, funicular station or if you like to access uh, by foot you can also take the way through the wonderful 18th century Porta San Giacomo, this gate we will see later, and then you can access the Città Alta by foot very easily. This plan I will also put on my blog, you will find all information there. I just have arrived on the main square of the Città Alta, the Piazza Vecchia, and behind me, over this beautiful little fountain with the Sphinx, there is the former courthouse, it's called Palazzo della Racione. Racione means right in English and the source of this name is coming from the period when Bergamo was under the, the no domination of the Republic of Venice. And so in this courthouse the judges were listening to the arguments of the citizens and based on their right they had to take a decision. And this tower, this bell tower up here, that's the Torre Civico, or also called Campanone. And there you can climb up, you will have a great view over the old city center. And that's what I want to do now. ticket for going on the top of the Campanone is 5 euros per person and then there is a lift I think yes that's good look at the panoramic view you get from up here 
there you can see the Chita Bassa where we started our tour this morning the Santa Maria Maggiore church and on its left the Cathedral of Bergamo and these two places we will go and visit afterwards straight over there you can see another interesting building this is the Torre del Gombito this tower was built between the 11th and 13th century because in this medieval period it was very usual that aristocratic families were competing each other who's having the highest um, tower in town for showing their wealth and there were around 72 towers um, up to 70 meters high and this one is now 52 meters high and you can climb it up by the staircase oh my ears every half an hour <laughs> oh my god and you still hear something that's good it's definitely worth it to come up here on the top of the bell tower you get a great view and especially during such beautiful days as we have today um, you can stay here even for watching the sunset it's opened in this period until 8 o'clock in the evening and so I think it's it's worth to pay these five euros now we will go into the main church and into the cathedral of Bergamo and have a look there It's lunchtime and I would like to take this occasion for giving you an insight into the local cuisine and that's why we will now go in for eating. When you want to eat something very very typical you definitely have to take the cassoncelli alla bergamasca. So typical ravioli stuffed with meat, served with butter and sage, granite cheese and crispy bacon. Another very typical dish for the Lombardy region in general, but also for Bergamo, is the polenta. There are various types, tastes, and one I will, I will try today is the polenta taragna, polenta with butter and traditional cheeses. It's coming from a nearby valley, and so I will order these two typical dishes and try it for you. Here we got the casoncelli alla bergamasca and here we are having the polenta taragna it looks like a meal for babies After this very typical and delicious lunch it's now time for a dessert and there is no better place to take that than in the restaurant behind me its name is La Marianna and the reason why this place is so special is because in 1961 Enrico Panattoni invented the stracciatella ice cream here and that's really true the famous white cream with irregular cho dark chocolate pieces inside and after several tries he managed to create a cream that actually tore itself up in Italian this process means stracciare and that's where the name is coming from but now I have explained enough, I will now definitely have to try it. Here we are having all the ice creams for quite reasonable prices, so it's not a tourist trap. And of course I will take the Coppa Colle Aperto with Stracciatella. Look at that, as always when I'm in Italy I don't have to worry about delicious food. Another typical speciality is the polenta e osei, 
so the polenta with sparrows and this dessert has actually quite an interesting history so back then there was a meal made out of polenta and sparrows songbirds and it was very popular until the prohibition of hunting songbirds and then a creative person was inviting this sweet alternative and it seems like polenta but actually it's just a, a biscuit mass and on top there are not real songbirds anymore instead this, these ones are made out of marzipan lucky songbirds a bit hidden from the main street down there is this lavatoio di Città Alta that's a wash house built in 1881 and the, during this period the water quality up here was very bad and so also the hygienic um, conditions and in 1884 there was a cholera epidemic and the doctors reported that the bad water quality favored the spread of such diseases and so the municipality decided to build such wash houses and this is one that remained it's a long marble tub and it's divided into different parts where you could wash your clothes and also the place where it is situated is very very nice Just behind me there is one of the four gates that were built during the 17th century together with the powerful city wall in order to get access into the city center at this time. And this one behind me is the Porta San Giacomo. You could access it um, by a wooden drawbridge. Today it's made out of stone. It's made out of white marble and then there is also the lion the symbol of the republic of venice that built it on it and this one was actually built for those who arrived from milan ladies and gentlemen i'm presenting you the heaven pizza on top and all the sweets below that's it from Bergamo. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I could give you a better picture about Bergamo. I love this place because for me, especially the location is unique. Located on the hill with a great panoramic view over the entire valley makes it to a very special place together with the magnificent architecture also. Um, what I was surprised is how crowded the city was today. The last time when I was here in February it was almost empty and now during a warm September weekend day it's fully crowded. So I hope to see you in the next episode. As always you will find all information on my blog. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao.